bad media. Turn it up! Turn it up! Welcome back to the Nerdbot Podcast live. The Wi-Fi is so weak tonight. Hey, the Wi-Fi will never let you down. If you believe in it, it will believe in you, Litfin. That's actually a good segue. That's a really good segue. To my co-host, Rachel Litfin. Ladies and gentlemen. Hashtag Finn on fire. Oh, my God. The awesome. <laughs> The ever grateful you know Rachel you Litfin. You know Throw out it. your Insta tags and stuff so people know where to hunt my down Insta your pictures. My Insta tags. My Insta tags. Your moist you place. To, you need to get to fix my we'll bangs. Get to the, we'll get my to the sponge. accent in a moment because we have plenty of... You can find me on all social media platforms as Rachel Litfin. That's L-I-T-F-I-N. And to help you remember, Fin on Fire. Right. And then, of course, in studio today with us, Vincent uh, uh, Vincent Castle. I was going to go just go Vince, but I'll go the whole way. Vincent It's all my name. Castle. Go for it, man. It's all there. Vincenzo Castle. In studio today with us, Vincent, you want to throw out your Insta tags and pages where uh, we're going to be talking about today as well. But uh, go ahead and throw out your Instagrams. and uh, Yeah, your, your I'm tags. on Instagram and Twitter as just Vince Castle, V-A-N-C-E-C-A-S-O, my name, that's all. And uh, Facebook under the same. And you can find me there. Now, we advertise you as part of the guild, of course, but I'm mm. sure there's, there's other things you want to elaborate on. Why don't you tell us? This boys into why don't you tell us a little bit about you? that? Wait, oh, you know what, Vince? Vince? What's up with that? What's what? up with that? What? What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that, man? What are we saying? <laughs> uh, no, just question what's, asking. Yeah. What's, <laughs> what's up with well, you? also, if anybody knows Vince or wants to ask Vince a question of all the awesome things he does, uh, be sure to field your question, and we're going to read it live. Of course. Uh, but Vince, yeah, l- let everybody know, obviously, uh, what the Guild is and what other things that you're involved with. Yeah, for sure. So the Guild is a show that we did a, a couple years back now. Ran for six seasons on Netflix. And nice. uh, with the Felicia Day, whole crowd of fun people about gamers. And it was the uh, show that really helped to kick off the new, the new media online series trend we have right now. Right. And, uh, yeah, it was a wonderful show. Nowadays, I'm working a lot with Geek & Sundry, which is the company that was founded kind of on the heels of the Guild's success mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. Felicia Day, currently owned by Legendary Pictures. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have a show on there called Game Engine that I'm a correspondent on on Tuesdays. Ooh. I appear Fridays on Gather Your Party. And then I have another show currently in pre-pro that I know that I'm not allowed to talk about. But it's fun. Make sure you guys check the shows out, please. That's it. That's fantastic. Uh, there's That's that. There's I mean, what else? Come on, I know there's, there's more. There's a whole mess of things. Well, I'll tell you right now, the best thing to do is to tune into my uh, my socials because next year, 2018, is going to be insane. Uh, I just started a crew together just now. Have a whole uh, a whole uh, roster of fun people built out to shoot a series of seven short films in 2018. Mm-hmm. Passion projects of mine. Right. Um, and uh, like what exactly? If you can elaborate slightly you without giving to, it away, you will have to see them to believe them. Sock puppet I wrestling. See it all, yes, man. It's actually he nailed it. It's it's sock puppets with more nudity. Wow. Um, but yes, really? naked sock puppet wrestling. Bare thread. <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with <laughs> a lot of nylon. Got to use. <laughs> nylon we stretched them out real good uh. <laughs> no, that's super cool no well that's uh that's but crazy. are you are you approaching these projects from a uh a directing aspect or are you going to be more on the camera can you give uh, give us some deets brah i'm i'm very much on camera right in that i'm first and foremost an actor the, mm. these projects individually are designed to both tell stories that i want to tell while giving me material that i can show people as uh examples of things that I make, that I right. believe in. Okay. And so, yeah, first and foremost, they tell my stories, and they tell my stories through, you know, me being involved in the cast, telling right. that. But I'm also taking on the hat of, of creative. Now, I don't mm-hmm. really believe I have, like, the technical background to direct a project. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be that egotistical to believe that's going to go well. Yeah. But Blair Witch 5, <laughs> starring Vincent God, Castle. You, you keep guessing these. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have to kill you soon, Anthony. It's like, you know too much. The Hollywood mind works in mysterious ways. So, yeah, that. I've got five TV pilots right now that I'm trying Whoa, to sell. Whoa, right. Um, so, uh 
Yeah, I've been very focused on kind of like the creative back end of, of the industry right now because mm -hmm. I realize I can audition for things right. for years mm -hmm. and bite on maybe one or two good projects, but I can start making my own shit in the meantime yeah. and get ahead of the curve. Right, so as well as sharpen, the, sharpen your tools in an industry that is always changing, always yeah, absolutely, growing. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, you have to kind of stay with it. I always, uh, I'm a musician, but I've always said the best way to learn is to surround yourself with people who know what they're doing let's, uh, and learn from those uh, people. Let's get to, totally. let's get to some comments. Some comments right here. Are there? <laughs> First up, we've got uh, David Holiday is in the chat with Hi, us. Hi, David. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, he's a really, really important friend? question for you, uh, Vince. Does. Close uh, friend of the show. David, or, or David wants to know, Vince, will you marry him? <laughs> Sorry, I had that. I've been wanting to use that for weeks. I love how you had that queued up. You did not know what the I question did. was going to be, I did. but you're ready for it. I'm ready uh, any time of the day. Uh, but we just had our first uh, live Nerdbot proposal on air right now. Well, David, no, David, David, listen, I'm open to the proposal, but I demand we consummate it first. That's, wow. that's my only requirement. Try before you buy. I wish I had a, This is a horrible time to not have Whitney Houston music. When? No, this is a horrible oh time not God. to have Whitney in chat. Well, how about we just use like reenact your love of a moment with Civil War music, please? This song. Wow, this is somber. <laughs> so let's assume that, that you... the mood. <laughs> All right, the mood is gone now. I'm sorry. David uh, Holliday. Uh, David says done and done. All right, David. Fantastic, there you David. Go. <laughs> Jingles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, who else do we have back in the oh, comments? Oh, Captain Holliday. We got uh, Tony Adams. She chimes in. I love the guild. I Thank miss you. the guild. I know, me too. Well, can I you describe the guild a little bit? Cause <laughs> yeah. I, I'm coming out you know, of I want to describe the guild. I want okay. okay. to do it. I'm going to do it. So... I am little teenage Rachel oh. playing Lord of the Rings. <laughs> 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 the music is perfect. He uses it for Hobbit mm -hmm. stuff. I hate it. True. Oh. It's not oh. right, man. I'll whip it out <laughs> later for Hobbitry, but uh, she hasn't mentioned anything I about it. I cannot Hobbit. wait for you to whip it out, dude. Uh, okay, so little high school Rachel crazy. playing World of Warcraft stumbles on this webisode series called The Guild, right? I watch this. I, I, I watch all of it. I love it so, so stumbled. much. stumbled. Where were you years at Years later, years later, I meet this guy, Vince, at Comic-Con 2016. And from there, just stayed friends. Actually, meet him through David and yep. my other friend, uh, M. Todd Gallo-Glass. We all have lunch together, and it's just the rest is history. Uh, the guild, if you played World of Warcraft or any kind of RPG, the guild is for you. It is uh. kind of the real life, the real lives of the player's of the RPG and how the Super kind of Mario RPG count. It's, it's 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 the whole concept. You know uh, what? We're very inclusive, so yes. Yeah, no, yes. absolutely. It's, it's, it's basically they use World of Warcraft as the base, but it could really be any kind of online game that you play, right. and you create these friendships with people all across. Oh, the, I see. Okay. All across the world. It's more about the MMO. Yeah. Well, that said, though, Aspect, I knew, right? like, I personally knew, like, forty-year-old plumbers who love the show who've never played a game in their life. Oh, so okay. There's a, it's, it's a social it's like dynamic. A it's yeah. like, it's a total it's sitcom. A sitcom. Yeah. It's just, it's based around the game, but it's all of the real life, like, bullshit and shenanigans they all find themselves in because, those. because they all know each other and they're all just these wacky personalities that yeah. just end up meshing. And it's hysterical. It, in terms of its premise, it's basically about these guys who play a World of Warcraft like game together okay. online, but they're all local, so they decide, let's just meet up in real life and, like, be real friends and do okay. real stuff. And the whole series is all of the crazy, just insane bullshit that happens as a result of them becoming friends offline oh and uh, yeah i mean it was i mean but it, does that mean it's volatile in that sense or is it oh is sure it hilarity yeah. ensues type of thing it's a boy well, it's a very hilarity ensues okay that's what we're thing. going for yeah, all right. it's, it's hilarity ensues <laughs> because these are all very very oddball personalities okay. who probably kind of belong online okay and so you <laughs> mesh us all together in your life and yeah. it's just it's insane that's, uh, and that's we've got so we've got somebody in the comments uh they said, oh, crap, I lost it. Stephanie uh, Pandas says, oh, my God, I love the guild. I still have my cheesy beards tee. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> they let you, I still have the t-shirt that I wore on the show. They so. let you keep it? Oh, well, I also stole cheesy a lot of stuff off the show. Okay, wow. Kid. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was well-deserved. Sorry. Not from me, of course. That's usually handed out hey, in the comments. Anyway. So, yeah. Do you want to read it? Yeah, do, you want you... date, do you want to date my avatar? Uh, oh, my God. Okay, first of all. Oh, Tony, you're killing me tonight. I'm going to call out Avian real fast for just the completely lit puns she dishes out on a daily basis right now. <laughs> do you know Avian? I do, yeah. Nice. Yeah, she's a friend. Uh, awesome. before we, Good evening, Avian. Before we move on to the news, um, I mean, 
I'm guessing that you have a gaming background. Is this oh, yes. based on this? Oh, so, yes. so uh, why he's don't never you have, played a video so game. So let's in his let's life. let the people. Yeah, he plays Tiger Electronics, little, little handheld game. I kill it at pong. Guys. <laughs> that uh, that re- pong real game, life, though. real life pong on the table. That pong game. Yes, Ping yes. Pong. <laughs> Keep that pong hands. No, um, but what games are you interested in now? What are you? What are you? Are you uh, all MMORPG <laughs> status still? Uh, what are no, you? Actually, what are you interested in now? I'll tell you right now. Um, were you and and uh, to extend that question, sorry to interrupt, but were you ever into that? Uh, even when your guild yeah, was so out I was going to have to start on that. Is yeah. Because so when Felicia first approached us all for the show, I knew about World of Warcraft because yeah. a lot of my friends had played it. I'd never played it before. Right. Um, I'm very much like an RPG FPS console kind of guy. Right. Stuff like you know, Perfect Dark and Conquers Back yes. and stuff like that. Fist bump for what Perfect up? Dark because per- Perfect Dark Dark does not get mentioned enough <laughs> Dude, in Perfect Nintendo Dark history. Is still the shit. Oh, absolutely! Like, it was so good that its prequel on better on a on a better game engine could not per- oh, outperform no. the original absolutely. with the expansion pack. Shameless yeah. plug. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I grew up in all that stuff. Um, but after season one came out, we um, she got all of us to play WoW together. Okay. The entire cast, which to, as, essentially as a, a, a team building as a exercise, kind of yeah, basically to bring us all into it. And by that point, we also uh, saw a fan guild within the game start up. So on Alliance in the, the server Zangamarsh, we uh, had a fan guild called the Knights of Good, which is like our guild from inside the show. They all came together of our like our biggest fans, and so we jumped in there with them, and they fucking love that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was so much fun, and uh, we all played. So me, Felicia, Sandeep, and Jeff lasted the longest, um, and so we played for a while. I gave it a good probably year and a half, mm-hmm. and then I was like, guys, I literally do nothing else now. It's so I have that. to stop. Yeah. <laughs> well, it- <laughs> what was your routine like? You'd come home immediately and, and just pop in the game. Well, two things. Yeah. First of all. I had been acting professionally since the age of 13. Okay. Um, and now by this point... On a lot the of field, Kodak commercials, folks. <laughs> yeah, baby. Um, <laughs> uh, by this point, at the age of now 15, I was doing the Guild. So right. I started the Guild very young. So I was both homeschooled and was not, like, employed at some 9 to 5. Okay. Meaning I, was... could, I could play WoW a lot. Wow. Okay. <laughs> nice. It was not good. Homeschool kids. Yeah. yeah. What was your What was your food of choice when you were gaming for long periods of time? Food of choice. My food of choice it's was all a blur. dude Doritos, no. Lucky Charms, and Tequila. Pepsi. No, um, no. Pepsi. <laughs> I would go Pepsi and Banquet Chicken Pot Pies because they were fifty cents, nice. dude. And you could have two at one time. And then while one was baking and you were gaming, you could easily go out and swap it out to get the next dude, one. Dude, as far as like garbage, strategize. Just like no, but I would literally wake up at like nine in the morning, get onto WoW. Grab the box of Lucky Charms, eat the whole box in one day, and go to bed like at one in the morning. All right, so that's let's, like all I would do. You are my spirit animal. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're I was getting, like seventeen. We're actually getting <laughs> so, we're actually getting some of what people uh, were using as their gaming food, as you know, their longevity gaming food. Oh, fantastic! And I actually throw it out there, everybody. If you had binged something, video game, I'll say video game status because you need something that that doesn't ruin your hands or doesn't get the keyboard sticky yeah, yeah, or the controller. Go. If you binge something, uh, let us know what you used. For me, it was the chicken pot it pie. It can't be yeah. too dusty. Your, it can't your be binge, too sticky. Your right. binge giddy video game food in the comments. And you know what? Know. If you want to throw out the game that you did it with, mine was StarCraft. Dude! Oh, oh, I used to play online all oh the time. Oh my god. Dude. Okay, that We're was the game later. that started me gaming. Yes, me too. was the original StarCraft, man. Me too. In like fucking 1997, 1998. Just all over that Diablo one, like take a bow, StarCraft, <laughs> the most balanced game ever. I've always been a Blizzard nut, like my yeah. entire life. I okay. love their games. That's wow. awesome. We're trying to get. Oh, hopefully we so can get. So we've got into uh, we've here. got Ed Yang. He's got a good question regarding when you guys played the guild back in the day. Did you all match your actual show character classes to the things you played? So here's a funny answer for you. So. At first, the first thing I rolled, because they kind of like related to it, was a dark elf, uh, not dark elf, but the, a night elf, druid. Describe what a roll is. Not for me, but for the people. I'm who sorry. So know. basically, when you create a character, you, you pick things like your <laughs> class, your race. It's, I mean, the, the term comes from Dungeons & Dragons because you roll dice to determine your stats. Gotcha. It's become kind of like a general term now for creating a character in right. any game. So. Or like in Mario Party when you have to hit the <laughs> dice at the beginning to designate who goes first. Continue. It all comes back to Mario, guys. <laughs> uh, uh, the, first, so the first thing I created was a Night Elf Druid. And then I started playing a lot of this uh, Shadow Priest, this Draenei Shadow Priest. And I really loved that play style. But then I thought, I sat back and I thought to myself, you know what, I have to do some fan service here. <laughs> so I spent like an hour 
and I created a human rogue named Blades. Oh my spelled God. the exact same way. No. Nobody else had How taken that it. Not taken? No one else had taken it. How is that not taken? Blades a human look, rogue named Blades. Two Z's. Th- okay, there you go. Hold, yeah, it's B L A D E Z Z. I right. swear to God, I must have run by you at least a few times because sure I played did. on Zenger Marsh. But I put the effort. It might have been Blades with three Z's like though. What? I made him look like me and oh everything. I put so much work into it. And everyone in the guild just helped me just like jack my level up and they, they gave me so much stuff. I'm Dude. like, guys, you're great, but keep doing it, you're great. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I can't accept this, but I'm going to accept it. I couldn't possibly, I mean, come on. I wonder how long the chain went on too, because after Blades 3-3, uh, Blades with 2 Z's was two taken. 2 Z's, 3 Z's, yeah. 3's, you gotta naturally continue down the line. Of so, course. Right? I wonder By how... now we're on like 300 Z's. <laughs> oh my god. The login data is just one server alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 300 boy. Z's. Uh, it's all of a guild we made got, entirely of blades. We got uh, <laughs> never. Please God, oh God. <laughs> we got pizza rolls uh, as one of the. Nice. That's a good one, actually. Uh, oh, we've t- got. Um, Tony said she binged Thai tea. Boba. Raquel Keys goes. Nice. Who eats Specific. when they are gaming? I was stuck. I didn't eat. You know what? No, I would go through that too. That's why I would grab the box of Lucky Charms. Because I would just like eat like a handful at a time and right. then ignore it for an hour and then like eat another handful. I had kind of the same thing though. Is yeah. when I was on like a binge, a proper binge, I would, I would forget I'd to go eat. like six hours, yeah, you know, eight hours without eat eating, yeah. and then like I'd have the bag and it's no. been there all day. So I just like even I'd worse, okay. you and forget then... what sleep is, and oh, then you, yeah. it becomes your enemy. Dude, I've I've Yo. like looked up at like 4 a.m. I'm like 15. I just popped my eye up and I'm like, oh shit! I've been doing this for 12 hours. Like this is not good for my health. Road rash on PlayStation. I remember there was one. There was one. One specific day, I just hit summer vacation, mm. and not even specific day. There was a few days yeah, like this where it was like eight prime. or nine in the morning. I'd wake up, get yeah. on, I'd go to sleep at one or two, yeah. and then wake yeah. up and do it again. Yeah, summer's prime time for that shit. Oh man. yeah, school, and I'm oh. you know a little like little teenage kid, no responsibility. That was two like, weeks ago. Or? I'm so young. That was last week. <laughs> 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 I'm so young. Guys, yeah, she's 19. She? <laughs> uh, Barely legal. Well, <laughs> oh, uh, boy. Uh, phrasing? <laughs> Are we not fire. doing Hi, phrasing? Hi, well, super Hi, qu- <laughs> well, super quick. Well, super quick. Oh, good. <laughs> yes. Big Finn. Rachel <laughs> Finn, everybody. Hello, good night. Finn. Good night, good night. everybody. <laughs> no. Good night, everybody. <laughs> but, no, but before we get to oh, the, nerd, uh, the nerd bot news, or Rachel's news, I should say, uh, yeah, there's no comments. So uh, before we get to the news, I want to talk to everybody about our last upcoming. Did that text uh, just say what I think it said. I, I want to come. Texting through the show too. I want. I want to like... come. <laughs> Stop distracting me with your data Big dream. Finn. <laughs> yeah, Big Finn just texted her. Sorry, continue. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. The 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 bar has been set. No. Uh, we just want to talk super quickly about Nerd Nights. It's coming up. The last Nerd Nights that we have coming up this November, of course. Uh, we have it at the Dave and Buster's of Arcadia. The last one was more of an after party for NerdBotCon. So this next Nerd Nights is the true Nerd Nights. Uh, my band, the Expansion Pack, aforementioned, is going to be playing oh, there. Sick. Yeah, Expansion I named the band pack. after some lo- after some Nintendo love. Your band is legit. I I like actually hearing you guys play, which yeah. is really in huge all actuality. Because, <laughs> because That's a good sometimes sign. <laughs> sometimes I'm just like, oh good, they're playing again. No, no, no. You guys are legit. I Thank love you your so music. I love how that was only mostly a compliment. Like, I, yeah. I actually like hearing you guys. I, you know I, I, I was surprised I, by I this totally fact. preferred when Vince thought higher of me like, <laughs> three seconds before you mentioned You that. guys, he has a fantastic band. I highly, highly tolerate it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, uh, no, but other than that, of course, we're going to uh, – let's see what we got here because I got the whole list of stuff. So we have live mu- – of course, live music. The drink specials are going all night. So last time oh, yes. they had like a happy hour thing going. Uh, hopefully we can get you there. Also, I'm sure I'll be there. Gonna cut if you you're not on quick, tour with your mega Someone band. in the comments goes uh-huh. – uh, Heather Gentry goes, happy birthday, Anthony. Oh, thanks. Aww. Thank you. I'm going to give myself some shameless applause. Thanks, everybody, by the way, for all the love you guys gave the last few days. Anthony just had his birthday. It has been an awesome week of being old, one year older, being 31. Oh, wow. Yeah. It, 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 it only, I mean, that's young. No, yeah, but it only gets that much more weirder when you're like an old guy in the Lego aisle. It, doesn't, <laughs> it does not work out very well. But going back to Nerd Night super quick, uh, private party at the After Lounge upstairs, the private bar that we have up there as well. It's happy hour, so like we were saying, the drinks are on special, and they actually do a good job. Everybody likes the drinks. Rachel? Quite honestly, I love Can you admit to drinking there? Before, actually, uh, you know what? I, last couple of Nerd Nights, I've actually been very sober. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but no. I actually, I, (laughs) I love, I really love nerd nights and I'm a bit of a hermit myself, but going to nerd nights has really, it made me, 
um, just come out of my shell sometimes. You would, have, you would find this hard to believe, but I can be very introverted sometimes. And I, I love going to nerd nights. I love um, seeing just like there is. She such loves a parking band. and the parking structure. Oh, there has the been such a part. consistent amount of amazing people who just go every time. And we all karaoke late into the night, like idiots, and it's fantastic. And we the all escalator just, raises you up. It is a wonderful nerd stuff. outing event, <laughs> and um, you know, and you're surrounded by you're surrounded by you know friends, by people who just accept you as you are, and it's great. It's the worst Yelp. I love that you ever. apparently have a smattering of applause. <laughs> yeah, that's, just delicate that's, applause. That's, that's the title. A I, smattering. Yeah, I, I have it labeled as Rachel's applause. On <laughs> so I'm just kidding. It's no. okay. My personality's so big. I make up for the rest. Hey, yeah, yeah. Rachel yeah. deserves self confidence. Uh. She deserves this applause <laughs> and more. No, but of course, Ooh. Nerd Nights. You can find all the information for that at nerdbot.com and on Facebook.com/slash Nerdbot Media. So and of the course, next Nerd Nights, Nerd in Nights. case you missed it again, it is November 9th. November 9th at the Dave and Buster's of Arcadia. I will and be, I'll there. be there. Oh, and don't forget, uh, with the $10 okay. get really awesome. It's going to be great. Yes. Well, there you go. You get to meet Blaze with two Zs there. Look, I heard alcohol. It's fine. We're all, <laughs> we're all good. Blaze with two Zs <laughs> will be there. Well, that's what we're going to have to refer to you now. No, Blaze will be there, of course, uh, Vincent Caso. And uh, once again, oh, the, I keep like missing over the biggest deal, which is once you buy your $10 gaming card, you have unlimited gaming the whole night. So Holy wow. There's that, yeah. And people, will, people stick on the games and finish We're them. Back so. with the broadcast, everybody. Let's get it. We're That's having really some te te technical good. difficulties yeah. and or right a very cut sad out. lift started, driver. Uh, singing Staying Alive at BG. Yeah, you guys missed out on some awesome BG-ness. Uh, How many were to die for? But I think we brought it back pretty damn well with the... Uh, I think we brought it back pretty damn well with the... Uh, Terminator intro, because who else, who else does Terminator like the bot cast? No one. No, of course not. But of course. In fact, no one else does it at all. <laughs> but <laughs> pretty sure no one else does this. Normally. I'm pretty sure police are coming on the way right now to bust down the door and arrest me and Litfin and probably let uh, Vincent go. I'm here. too Off pretty like to go to jail. <laughs> this is Blades from the Guild. <laughs> oh <Castle>. boy, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, of course, Blades from the if Guild, you're just ladies now and joining gentlemen. Us, we Two got, Zs, ladies uh, and gentlemen. If you're just now joining us here tonight, we got uh, Vince Casso in the studio. Thank you he, so much uh, for coming in, buddy. He started in the uh, webisode series The Guild, yes. and he is a current personality uh, in Geek and Sundry, as well as a writer and actor. And sometimes he sells paintings at Venice Beach. Yeah. <laughs> That's true, guys. I'm... <laughs> that guy. Um, you you know, are one, that one guy. guy. You're that one guy. <laughs> one guy selling he paintings paints pictures in of seashells. Very nice. Very nice. On well, Venice Beach. I, we were having such a hot ass talk before the month. Hot ass talk. It was hot. Wow. We were a hot cup of talk. Oh, we were a hot cup of talk. <laughs> All right. We're getting it. lit. I'm going to hashtag that one. I have trademarked that. But I was talking. <laughs> exactly. But I was talking, right. of course, exactly. about our Nerd Nights event. Guys, check that out on nerdbot.com. I'll talk about it more a little bit later on in the show. But, of course, we are going to move on to the uh, nerd news with the Lit Fin. Thanks, the everybody, for sticking news. around, by the way, through the technical difficulties. Thank we appreciate you. it. And I, right. now I'll throw it over to the Lit Fin. Sorry, girl. News with Rachel Lit Good evening, everybody. It is October 9th, Monday night. Thank you for joining us for yet another edition of our podcast. Got your nerdy news of the week coming up at you. Uh, Szechuan sauce. Everyone. This is what Rachel does. You're about to find out, Vince. I love that little intro. That was so fun. Strap yourself in. I'm strapped, guys. <laughs> I'm strapped. I'm Here strapped. we go. <laughs> Here we go. Prepare yourself the for what I can only describe as an experience. <laughs> Rachel Litfin. I'm done. <laughs> That's it. Szechuan sauce. That's the news. We had like a five-minute conversation about how to spell it, how to say it. Pretty much. Oh what, <laughs> but no clue what to say. That's she, about it. But of course, and, and actually, this would be a good one to throw out to our uh, viewing audience now. If you guys had a Szechuan sauce experience, you, you've been trying to say that word for about two shows now. Szechuan sauce. Szechuan sauce. I gotta get a Szechuan sauce, Morty. Uh, oh, if you guys, <laughs> oh wow, Dave Valencia said, "Prepare your nuggets." <laughs> All right, Dave, I'm gonna use that as my segue. Dave, my nuggets Jeez. are prepped. I'm pre pre prepare your McDonald's nuggets. McDonald's is gonna everyone. rip that off, guys. Uh, no. <laughs> Take to my private party. Oh, oh boy. 
All right. They're all coming in. Shashwan sauce, everybody. For those of you who are fans of Rick and Morty, right. at the beginning of the opening season, this last season, there was an episode where they referenced McDonald's as 1998 exclusive sauce <laughs> that was released with the Mulan movie by Disney. Mulan. They created a sauce called Szechuan sauce. And I actually remember this. Yeah. And it went with chicken McNuggets and everything. It was a discontinu- discontinued sauce. And apparently Rick and Morty went through the dredges of the internet and <laughs> uh, name dropped I, this random but very, very specific McDonald's I'm very Szechuan certain sauce. it was some, one of the writers had a fever dream. And I then, had a fever. <laughs> and the only... <laughs> the only it's Szechuan sauce. It's more, no, it's like, more Szechuan sauce. It's, it's, it's like those people who were like, it the idea came to me in a dream. Yeah, like, this exactly. guy just had some regressive exactly. Dude, REM Justin, dream. Justin Roiland is a living fever dream. Real, that guy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that, by the way? So, the guy who made, so, not for me, but okay, for the people who don't obviously know. Obviously, for the people obviously. in the audience. So, please. The creator of Rick and Morty and the voices of Rick and Morty. Wait, what? Come on, Justin Roiland. Come on, Morty. What about him? I was saying he's a living fever dream. Oh, oh, yeah. And he asked, well, who is that Justin Roiling guy? So I thought I'd clarify for him. Got it. I mean, the the audience. For those who might inquire for such a piece of information. So. (laughs) I don't have the patanta. Yeah, sorry. I don't have the patanta (laughs) for you, but I'll give you some, some, some smattering. You know what? We'll cap. We'll cap your 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 your. Uh, we'll cap your stories with the tr- with the traitor. So we're trying to. So okay, right. okay. Because so it's to the Star story. Wars time. Anthony, focus. I'm focused. Back to the story. <laughs> Rick and Morty earlier this season. Uh, talk about the Szechuan sauce. We're still McDonald's. Doing this. Uh, the week after it airs, sends them a full bottle of Szechuan sauce, and then starts the Szechuan sauce chronicles. Uh, McDonald's has now in an unprecedented promo. Said, hey guys, on um, I can't talk no, right go, now. No, go, for it. go okay. for it, and then I'm gonna just jump go around for it. on that too. Just jump around on all of it. No. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> oh boy, traitor! This is really fun tonight. We're strapped in. <laughs> He's still strapped. I'm so strapped on. He's guys. double strapped. We saw you guys yesterday. Okay, Saturday. Yes, Saturday. Mm. McDonald's sold the Szechuan sauce, you guys. Mm-hmm. Hold on. I got, the, I got their applause for and them. And they sold out because they purposely, those bastards, gave specific McDonald's is only like 30 packets of it. The fix was in. People were lining up since like midnight the night before for it. Which is there amazing. There was riots. Look. I have not eaten McDonald's in like, how old this, am I now? In like at least 10 years. This, I have not eaten McDonald's in 10 years. This is... And I legitimately thought about going down and getting some chicken nuggets, getting some shakalaka yeah. sauce. And the moment I heard people were camped out since right. like 1 in the morning right. the day before, right. I was like, nope. No. That was, just to, use, that 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 was just to use the bathroom. They were camped <laughs> out for that. No, but you're, you're definitely right. And, and it's a disturbing trend. A disturbing fucking trend. Okay? And I have to use the... Madeline Bell comes in. She goes, this whole Szechuan sauce thing is insane. Madeline, it's, it's good to see you, darling. It you started. Our chat. Uh, she goes, I feel so bad for the poor McDonald's yeah. workers that had to deal with that. No, you're right, though. It's, you get these insane people. It uh, starts. It's, okay, it started s- very loosely with Apple releasing unlimited a number of phones, computers, whatever. Yeah, and it, it created this there. insane riot. And now companies think it's okay to do that and create a frenzy with the public. Which Nintendo does it with the NES. Yeah, and we'll, 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 we'll get, we're to that get into later. that. They did it with their original iteration. They're underproducing these things when they can clearly just wait. Holy crap! What's well, called like in marketing? <clears throat> that's called false scarcity. Yeah, exactly. You you underproduce the product to get more attention, more right. PR, yeah. more press. Right. Oops, we ran out. But in a Look way, at all the riots of people but, who want it. Right, but in a way, it, there was riots. it ends up backfiring because it creates an oversensed hype for something. Yeah. And then people realize that it's not really Which that, and then they don't care. Which proves Rick and Morty's point. The show is so deep that it just goes to show that, you know, you, you make right. hype around one small thing that's not even a great thing. No, and I, it you just, know, no well, you there's, know, there's, no, there's no misunderstanding that Rick and Morty tapped into something that everybody loved and appreciated when it was around. So to me, that makes sense. <clears throat> There's people even kind of like giving shit to Rick and Morty because they're saying it's an overrated show or what have you. Honestly, Rick and Morty probably just said it out the side of their mouth. I, I'm with thing. you there. They probably it, just thought it was a no it was a bit. Right. Nobody it was a one episode I'm, bit. I'm all it was along like 30 the fact, Exactly. Yeah. I'm all along it's it's the same thing that happened with Surfing Bird and Family Guy with <laughs> Cool Whip. Oh my god. All of that shit. It's all cool relative. Whip. It's it's you know, it's a cartoon making an off the cuff funny comment and McDonald's took it and ran with yeah. it. Yeah. Because comedy is all about being specific. Damn so you, if McDonald's. they would have just said a mustard sauce, it wouldn't have been specific. But 
but it was when specific you're... because it was a 1998 random limited edition McDonald's sauce right. that nobody's going to remember. Which obviously, but Rick remembers. No, but, <laughs> plum teriyaki. No, but it, it did have to. It kind of bugs you out. It kind of but like some people get bugged out about the McRib. They get mad that they can't buy it all the time. So it's something that sticks with you. So if somebody yeah. made something like I'll. You know what? I'll even go as far as to throw out what I'm pissed off they don't make anymore. Dunkaroos. Hey, it was a fucking cookie hey, that hey, I really hey, liked. Hey, hey, what's a Dunkaroo? A Dunkaroo was a cookie that For they the sold. For the audience. You know. Yeah, who might not know. Who might not know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're young. Okay. So a Dunkaroo was a, um, a cookie that was sold with dunkable chocolate or vanilla oh, frosting. Oh, shit. And it was the best, okay? You could control the amount of frosting you, you wanted on your cookie. Exactly. Madness ensued, right? That's too much power for one no, man. No, but honestly, it was a it was a great thing, and they just took it away. They ripped it away from Dunkaroo. us. They took it away. So in short, <laughs> McDonald's saw the frenzy they caused, and they went, "Oops, we're sorry, we right. undersold." But guess what? Later on this month, I think it's like November, they're gonna do it. Right. We're gonna have a limited edition for like a couple months. We're gonna put Szechuan one sauce on the normal menu yeah. for like a, a second. So now it'll be in, in supplies. Now they well, force now, all yeah. of you to talk about it like yeah, crazy, exactly. Exactly. like we yeah. are. So like we are. Yeah, but see, they here's the thing. I'm reserving the fact that they still might not do it because Nintendo doesn't do it. And Nintendo's like the king of not doing what they promised. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, if We're you getting do no that, swag from Nintendo. Wanna, do episode. we want to close that segment and segue into that? Okay. Mario is watching. So, Shesh wants us, everybody. All right, there you go. That that's, wasn't that's the, the button. I don't have, not the, have the good end? The, the, no, I couldn't, it wouldn't load. I'm oh, sorry. my goodness. I know. Let's segue to It's to, either that or Kylo Ren. I got to go with Kylo. Kylo's Bay, man. For the win. Kylo is Bay for the uh, win. That would actually Kylo. be a better segment to the Last Jedi trailer, but what do we want to do? SNES or? Why did you bury the lead then? Yeah! Oh, <laughs> uh, sick timing. Without though. too Unless much. You are living delay. under a rock today. What the hell is going on in life anymore? That was so it's much that was. Oh my god, I forgot the fucking voice. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you see, we're going to take the kids to see the Star Wars later on this year. Star Wars movie. We, were, we was in line for Star Wars. How many wars are we talking? We're talking, well, Lots we took of Gerald. Wars. We, it's, it's all the wars. One wars, of us took wars, Gerald wars. last year to see the episode of The Seven. <laughs> and it was thrilling. The, the giant rat thing was back. It was beautiful. So I didn't have time to watch the trailer today. And just as I got to the studio, Elvin is loading it up on the big screen. And I'm like, oh, shoot. Yeah, I've been meaning to watch that today before the show. And so we all watched it. And mm. what, what was my reaction, Vince? She was sat on the floor with her legs crossed, dog in her lap, just screaming <laughs> at, an, <laughs> at an inaudible pitch. <laughs> Just I mean, I think the dogs are here because they were going bad shit. I had, I had our producer's dog in my lap, and I'm just like at the TV, like, ah, oh my, he, he just, ah, just random ah. shrieking. So I guess to reenact that, I'm, I'm actually gonna run the trailer audio through here because we can't get the video set up yet. Uh, we didn't pay our projector guy, so he <laughs> stole the projector. <laughs> Pay your projector guys, people. That's all I'm going to say. But what I'm going to do... Real quick, I'm going to cut you off two seconds. Dana do Jane, thing. I do want to get back to that comment when we're done with our segment. She goes, I have the best geek and sundry stories. Yeah, Gina. Please, we need more geek and sundry so, stories. So, Dana Jane, stay with us. We want to talk about that, but we're right. going to do Star Wars right now. All right, right so now. right now, if you, please, if you please, my dears, I'm going to watch the trailer for the first time. You Vince, haven't have you seen, seen it? it? I have seen I it. I was waiting to see it for this show to kind of do it on this show. Oh, we're going to get your live reaction. Yeah, so I get to see see it live and, and, okay, so and, and, and honestly um i had been really like avoiding everything star wars until people started buying me star wars legos for my birthday so i got the spoilers like right here with me you actually you could whip out snoke so i'll show snoke everybody this while yeah so while i'm doing it, that yeah. so display this awesome thing so tell me what this is real quick this is the uh, star destroyer from the new uh, it's the new version of the star destroyer that's coming Fantastic. out, and it's the newest of the biggest so of the Vince new sets. So Vince and I are gonna play with this first. Yeah, you guys well, open you it up. The, you gotta you open up the, the top first. That thing. There you go. Oh my God. All right, like here Christmas. we go. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna describe what's going on in the trailer ah. as well. So uh, yeah. Here we go. Here trailer we go. time. All right, there's a guy. It looks like Kylo Ren oh, watching. That? Yes. I oh, new ATTEs. Those Legos suck. Untamed power. Oh. As beyond that. It's Kylo. Ooh. Something truly special. Yay, there's Ray. Ray is Bay. Okay. See Isla Sorna from Jurassic Park. As I 
me his own Yeah. Weapon. Handed it back. Then I was awake. It's a little dark. I need help. Wow. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. It does now. Wow. Let the past die. Kill it. <laughs> if you have to. Oh, damn it. Become what you were meant to be. Feel. Damn. Come on, Kylo. I gotta play a Kylo trader for him. Holy crap. It's a freaking porg. A porgy. <laughs> Keep watching, buddy. Whoa. All right, it's fucking on. That's right. It's time to throw down. BB-8. Oh, it's a Pokemon. Oh, that's not looking good. Oh, shit. Who's that? To show me my place in all this. It's Bay. <laughs> oh shit. Dun, dun. God damn. Holy crap. Now in the meantime we've been the shipping. Hell is gonna we've go been on now. Shipping all the characters over here. Yeah. We were no, you had a wedding. It's definitely lost value since it's been in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> I have very sticky hands. Wow. That's so what she no, said. I'm just kidding. All oh. of that's just. No, I mean, <laughs> holy crap! Th there's a lot uh, to take in with I, that. There Dude, is. I just, like, and they, I just got goosebumps no, so and bad. I, at I'm the end actually of that. very I, satisfied with that trailer because it reveals nothing, whereas the the episode seven trailer revealed a little too much. This trailer was uh, giving you just enough to to dream a little more. So no, very satisfied say, with that. Least, Everyone's losing their shit over the destroyer. That is so <laughs> I love awesome. It. Okay, wow, I, you know what? Good when job. you brought this on the table, I was like, "Are we really doing that?" Like, yeah. okay, fine. And now, like, no good. Yeah, good I guess this buddy. counts as a Lego review, yeah. but this kind of all worked out really well. But holy crap, um, it was not expecting to see Snoke uh, so quickly. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, like right there, and we have the Snoke little figure. You guys took him out a little yeah, bit he's earlier. Yeah, he's in there. He's. He's right there. Yeah. So I got. I had my first up. sneak. Uh, uh, sneak look at at Snoke. Your Snoke look. I wanted to call him a snork right now. Yeah, snork. <laughs> it's the snork. <laughs> it's the snork, snork. I'm gonna dominate your universe. Um, no, but uh, uh, that was my we first got Robin, look. Robin, Robin Sturgeon goes. It's like watching two little ones while Dad watches TV. Oh my God, that's <laughs> us. That is so us. Two little right? kids on Christmas And every morning. so often, I'm gonna lean over and be like, "Hey, you be where I can see you. Don't, don't touch the fucking thermostat." <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I'm I'm very excited for the movie now. Um, just because I like that they didn't give away too much. Um, the Ray thing is is definitely going to be interesting. It's the second time that he tries to convince her to dance, and I don't know if she's going to dance. Uh, Gwen Ruby wants to start a destroyer. Um, we're not doing. Phrasing. All right, we're going to have an auction at the. <laughs> oh, that's not phrasing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my God. And can I just oh. say because here's the thing is. One one major complaint that I had that I think a lot of people had about The Force Awakens was the... Not enough porgs. Not enough porgs. <laughs> Let's talk about that. No, but... They underplayed the porgs for sure. <laughs> I love you, big fan. Um, <laughs> but there was the very underwhelming use of Phasma as right. like this major, um, not antagonist, but this just big player on the scene. Right. Because she just came and went. There was no right. fight scene. There was right. nothing like really cool. She was defeated like this and then just yeah. left. It was pathetic, if you yes. will. Yes, and I think, oh. I think they Those realized your words, that. Your words, not mine. Yes, pathetic. <laughs> Someone tell J.J. Abrams. Oh, uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> no, but I see like now they're purposely working it in the trailer. Like, hey, she's, she's badass, so we're going to have her do some badass stuff. Yeah. Oh, and no, I'm she's so throwing excited. down. Yeah. I like that she's throwing down. She could have thrown down with somebody who knows how to fight because I don't know if Finn knows how to fight. At this point, so maybe I'll be let down again. Yes, yeah, so you might be let down again. We'll I'll tell you how. this though, I have absolute faith in Ryan Johnson. Like he is that, the director of the film. Right. Is well, among my favorites. Did they not switch off to JJ, or is that the next? No, that's episode? the next. That's one. the next one. Okay, so JJ we have, is taking over the third of the. So new this trilogy. So, it's like a divorced so parent handing off their child. <laughs> so this one has the Long Johnson. Okay. This has the Long Johnson. Okay. Long John Silver. <laughs> 
Now, if you if you've seen his work, shout before, out to a failing freaking fish business. He's direct. Oh mm. God, we're just hating on everybody today. <laughs> We've made enemies of Long John Silver, of J.J. Abrams, There's no one of left. Nintendo. There's, if, if Long John Silver's had an island, it'd be conquered by anybody wandering on a boat. Okay, continue. But if you guys have seen his other work, like Brick and Looper. Okay. Um, Looper, yes. Looper, Looper among was Looper. so good. Yeah. Looper, one of my favorite films ever. That is and such a... I, you know, I always forget about that film, but it's such a it's darn amazing. good film. So Johnson knows what he's doing. Right. I, I'm really, really hopeful <laughs> that he's handled it well. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I love it. No, I'm, I, I see all of that. I see a different influence on the movie. Uh, yeah. I see a different tone for sure. Like all the characters have a tone that you can tell they've grown from the last time. Yeah. Uh, interesting to see Kylo Ren's carbon, carbon fiber face that he's got going on. I think that adds horsepower. Uh, it does. Yeah. Oh, his little He's got VTech now, like, apparently. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> He's got Bluetooth and shit. Like, <laughs> I guess Spotify on this thing, man. <laughs> pimp, pimp my face. Pimp my <laughs> face. <laughs> Whoa. We heard you like the Sith. <laughs> Hashtag so fit on fire. We're we totally going to install a lightsaber in your stick, bro. <laughs> oh, we heard you like dark side with your dark side dog. So <laughs> we put dark side in your dark side to keep you warm. I'm dark. still stuck on pimp my face. <laughs> <laughs> The so interior many. is black. The exterior is black. It's all Sith, baby. <laughs> yeah. Exhibit. A little That's bit of red. A little bit of red for the lightsaber. There's so many gold sound bites on this right now. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. We'll clip some shit out. Yeah, please edit our show. <laughs> Are we still doing nerd news? Well, we were still talking about <laughs> Star Wars. That's what how far we've gone. All right, I'm going. Hey, everybody, Star Wars is coming out soon. <laughs> okay, go see it. No, yeah. You don't have to a lot of go theaters see it. for opening it, night, like... a lot of theaters are already sold out. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, they're gone. Yeah. they're gone. You know seconds. what? Good job it would on the Star Wars. not surprise me if this is the largest worldwide opening film of all time. Like, that would, oh, not, yeah. that would not surprise me. No, I would not be shocked at all. Like, yeah. That's insane. It's going to beat out the Garden of Nymph for sure. <laughs> what's the that's, garden of and that's, very, something. that's a very specific movie I'm what's picking the garden, from the 90s garden of you do not need to know about it this is going to blow Bridge to Terabithia <laughs> out of the water yes uh, that okay, movie bummed so, me the fuck out <laughs> Dana Jane I still want to get to your thing it sounded right, so interesting back please. there alright let's move on from Star. wait is that the, it for Star Wars I think though, that's right? it for Star Wars right, yeah. we could go on all Enough night about yeah. Star Wars I'm yeah. all worn out the first few episodes that Rachel was on we talked about Star Wars for like three episodes straight <laughs> oh my god and it was like, well, all right, we got to cut the Star Wars shit out, and then Overwatch took over for like. Oh years. yes. So yeah. Oh, you love yourself some Overwatch. I, do, I love a bit of Overwatch. All right, throw out, throw out your thing so people know where to find you and, and fight you. Oh, I don't. Okay, so here's the thing with Overwatch. <laughs> I played a bunch at all the BlizzCons. I've played in all of my friends' accounts. I still have not set up my own yet. <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. It's the worst. Like, I like I, that you waited for it too. You're like you knew I was going for it. Yeah, you, like, you did. I was waiting. I'm like, okay, I'll just wait this All one right, out. So, do we want to talk about the SNES? I'd like to. Let's do that real quick, and then we'll uh, get you know, back we'll to get just kind of a callback to what we brought up earlier. The SNES two, the S, I call it SNES two. The SNES Mini was released. That's uh, SNES Classic. Uh, it, Going released, over to Nintendo World yeah, here. And, ooh, fancy! Back that to actually, on Nintendo. by the way, <laughs> yes. At the end, no, but um, Nintendo World used to be a thing at Sears. Remember Sears? Hold on. No. Once upon a time, I don't want it. There existed. A Sears, where many hobbits worked, but they had a Nintendo Land. It was called World of Nintendo, and it was a sponsored area specifically for Nintendo products. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Thanks, that's all. Get, thanks, Gandalf. Thank, Thank you, me. Mr. McKellen. <laughs> Sir Ian, Sir Ian McKellen, Sir and Ian. No, but right. it's a, to no one's surprise, it's complete. It was completely sold out. Nobody could find it. I was, I was hearing reports of up to six units being shipped to oh, locations. Jesus. Like, if there were ever a smattering of, I don't give a fuck. Come on, Nintendo, we're gonna buy it anyways, whether it's now or later. All there it was does, more Szechuan sauce to there, go around. There was probably you could probably play with your Szechuan. Longer than you Dude, could with the they sent, Mini. They sent a fucking jug to Justin Roiland right after the episode came out. They had that And shit. you know what? How much no, restraint? It was just like, the, you know, the bourgeois. Oh, here's just enough Szechuan And sauce. also, how about to keep the plebs happy? The plebs and it, yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. To let them know that we have some. Szechuan. The legend exists. <laughs> <laughs> As foretold once upon a time by my friend Galdorf. Oh who talked God. about the Szechuan sauce from know Szechuan Anthony, land. I'm Anthony, I suppose you think that was terribly good. Heather, oh, Heather Gentry says, Petridge Pepperidge Farms. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, boy. Right, before we go, I'm going to give Vince some time to do some Civil War Gandalf no, you on me. No, you got you, you just did a really good freaking Gandalf. And oh. if you think I'm going to let that go before the show ends, you are wrong, Blades. I pull it out and at these spurts, <laughs> but... I fall apart in long form. Blades. So is this the show title that they just didn't give us enough? <laughs> uh, didn't give us much. enough Nintendo. Didn't give us enough, enough Star Wars. Wars. Enough Star Wars. Not enough Star Wars. We really are like we're complaining about a lot yeah. of shit right now. We're just bitching about this everything. This is the fanboy the cast. <laughs> the <very least. laughs> it grinds my gears. <laughs> it really nice. grinds. Do it. Say Please. it. Stop. No, you guys. Yes. If there's one I thing heard, we love, it's I impression. heard that. I heard that. I can't yes. give him an all we trash. Oh my Just say God. grinds my gears. Just it grinds my gears. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh <my> God. <laughs> Peter um, Griffin. <laughs> no, but but oh to, you know they keep doing it. We, they're already talking about the N64 Mini. I don't know what they're going to cram on that. Like, there aren't too, really too many games that are far gone from the N64. Chances are, if you own an N64, it probably works with exception to the uh, joystick. Do you, own, do you still own an N64? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. What color? Just the... I think just the normal one, the regular the gray. The black one, yeah, okay. the, the, the dark gray, charcoal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. charcoal. Yeah, all right. Well, well, there was also all these colors that came out: atomic green, atomic purple. All I know is I woke up one Christmas, my parents had that shit there, and it just—I never left the couch. Beautiful. From that day till now. Beautiful. All right, uh, and no, that's it. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, I don't have. Uh, well, yeah. So, well, that's it for nerd news for tonight. There we um, go. The news with Rachel Litfin. Hey. It's over. <laughs> yeah, stay else. tuned. Because we're going to have more <laughs> Vince Castle goodness if coming at you. If we missed anything, Dana by the way. So, Dana Jane, if you're still in the comments, you mentioned earlier Geek and Sundry and whatnot. I want to hear what you had to say about that. And uh, Vince, what did you? so what shows are you on Geek Sundry right now? Okay, so currently I'm a correspondent on Game Engine on Tuesdays, which is like a gaming news so and what is variety So what is Game Engine? Yeah, what's up with right. that? <clears throat> what's up with that? What's up with that? <laughs> I'll tell you. So, oh. Game Engine is like Geek and Sundry's <laughs> gaming and nerd news show, funny enough. What? Um, we, don't, we don't do that. No, I've never heard of that concept uh, we, before. It, we don't have is, anything like that on yeah, our channel. Hey, uh, this is what we loosely, like to loosely call a show, ladies and gentlemen. You heard the air quotes around that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't need to see them. You heard yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> well, our podcast listeners will hear it. Um, but yeah, so we talk about gaming news, uh, nerd news and such. It's, it's a more specific game. You guys focus. hiring? <laughs> oh my god! Elvin, Everybody jump ship with nerd so, uh, <laughs> How do we get out of here? <laughs> what, what's the pay like? <laughs> oh my god, it's hosted by. What's your uh, catering like? You guys do good uh, <laughs> we have a great 401k. I don't 401K. want to yeah, no. have that bullshit coffee. I want the Seattle's best. Wow, oh, watch out. <laughs> Keep talking about it's it. Folgers, sorry, yeah. tough it's shit. You'll like it. <laughs> you'll drink it and you'll fucking like it. Yeah, but so your nerd butt ripoff show, what does it do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that was... Uh, hosted by uh, Erica and Trish, two wonderful women. I love them so much. Uh, cool. My segment is we do the gaming itself. Okay. Like we, we game, we banter. It's me, right. myself, and Havana Mahoney. We call ourselves Vin and Vanna. That's cute. And That's it's, adorable. We're adorable, Hell guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the chemistry. Uh, but I ship it. <laughs> the worst. Haven't you totally it. sold it, bro. It. Really, I did. I ship it. I'm gonna make a fan. Um, would she be proud of that description? Oh, I think she would. Okay, I good. think she really would. If you're out there, Havana, <laughs> she's not. Ship <laughs> it. Oh my god. She's totally ship watching. Why wouldn't sale. she be supporting you? Of course, you right of course. <laughs> um, Do you know uh, Kristen Nicole Fassbender? She goes, what's up, Vince? Probably. Hey, Tristan. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but as far as the game, is it games that you're like, uh, you're, you're. I'm sorry, reviewing them, I should say. Is it like, do you go through a set of, a set of material? So or is it we'll, have, stuff? we'll have an interviewee on the show for a given week. Okay. Uh, usually either a game developer or somebody just sort of like influential in the field. Related to the industry. And then we'll play a game that either has to do with their game or sometimes we'll just play their game. Right. Um, so for one example is uh, the game came out, this dating sim called Dream Daddy, which is... <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Please Dream describe. Daddy? Dream Daddy, yeah. Are we talking about Dream Daddy? No, Dream Daddy. Please, let's talk about Dream Daddy. Because Erica I... voiced a character in Dream Daddy. I remember and... when all this came out. Yeah, Erica Ishii. Okay. And she is super tight with the creators, so me and Havana played Dream Daddy. Wow. And it was hysterical. Oh, my God. Uh, so that's a great example that's of what cool. we do on there. I also show up on Gaddy or Party on Fridays, more of like just like a party game, hang out fun, dance central, Which rock band kind of show. Which the other Friday Which I dragged night. her to. And oh. she was front and fucking center, belting out Africa with the rest on of us. On rock band. On rock band. Toto? Oh, yeah. Africa. Why am I just hearing about this now? I didn't know you were down like that. It was online. Dude, I totally would have invited you, but I didn't know who you were. 
Bringing it back. <laughs> That's what we call a callback, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very oh, much. Oh, I got a smattering. This <laughs> <laughs> You've made it, but, um, you no. got the smattering. <laughs> and then I have a third show in pre-pro right now, an RPG show that I can't talk about much, but it'll be really fun. You know, it's along the same lines as the shows on there, like Vast and Critical Role and Shield of He Tomorrow. races hamsters for I, money. God, this guy Look. guesses all of them. It's a hamster racing RPG tabletop show, first of its kind. Yeah, and the for, last. First person to, to write in the name uh, of our hamster speed show. Gets gets uh. I think gets, we just named it. No, 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 no. I wanted to, but Ham, I, I wanted Ham, to give Vince the honor of picking the Ham winner. Hamtaro 5.0. Oh Jesus! Oh. Does anyone oh, remember Hamtaro? This is something I remember. How about, dude, I watched Wait, that show how about all the Ham's time. Car? Ham's car. Back in like childhood. Times. Yes, I'd rope with that show for some Ham really Taro? weird ass I, reason. I'm not alone. 90s kids. Like it's just it's the it's the dimmest memory. Oh, it's so dim. He was super cute all the time, though. I you think watched it was like, Tentaro, too? I used to, well, it used to come on after Pokemon. I think that's why I watched it. Right? Because that, I think so, it. too. Yeah. I know like, it came on before uh, It came on, Pokemon. like, the heels yeah. of Pokemon. Right. Yeah, because I remember I liked the song at the end of Hamtaro. I'm going to probably end the show with that song. <laughs> You're looking it up right now. I'm watching I you. I'm exactly actively typing it. I am, yeah. Ham- but, and, and, and it's going to show up in my recent searches, I'm pretty sure. Uh, no, but um, one last thing. Uh, well, actually, we have a little bit of time, though. I wanted to get a little bit into you, Mr. Vincent. <laughs> uh, but no, but I wanted to see. Um, you said you started uh, acting when you were 13. Yeah. So uh, what inspired you or at least yeah. led you down the road How'd to start acting? Because that? that's kind of a big deal, oh, especially being Mr. Gild over here. Mr. Mr. Fancy Gild, guy. Mr. Big Shot over here. Mr. Toozies over here. <laughs> Toozies. <laughs> Uh, well, it was, a, it was a combination of things. My family has always been super artistic. My mother's a writer. My father has been an actor since he was, like, you know, in his early 20s. And so I was always inspired to look into the arts. Yeah. And then in school, I was always in all the stage productions. I did nice. Shakespeare, all that kind of stuff. Theater. Yeah. And theater. Uh, thespian. <laughs> I am a thespian. Of great length. <laughs> Mr. I, Vince. I'm renowned. I'm a very lengthy thespian, guys. Um, <laughs> Strapped on. Okay. <laughs> Still strapped. Still strapped Triple on. strapped. <laughs> oh, boy. Ding. Take on two guys I, at I once. I keep adding new straps. Ding. Uh, but. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Keep so on. I loved that so much. And just, I talked to my dad, and I'm like, hey, so I'd love to, like, give this a shot. Can you, like, you know, help me out? He got me a meeting with his manager, who got me my agent. Um, and then from there, I, I within my first uh, six months or so, booked a film by the guys who made Napoleon Dynamite. It oh, was an awesome. independent film we shot out in Utah. Nice. And that year after that, booked the Guild, and it's just been a fun adventure. So, since do you then. guys you know the guys from Napoleon Dynamite? I know I know all the guys who made the movie, okay. like all the producers, the yeah, crew, yeah, all those guys. Like um, it's that been movie a long ended time since so, such them. a so, random hit. It, I loved Napoleon. Oh Dynamite. yeah, that was <laughs> that movie came out. It was a sleeper. Nobody knew about it, and then all of a sudden it hits. You it know, blew up hard, man. Yeah. Hits you know what? DVD it was hot everyone topic. Rents it. Oh, it was yeah. hot topic and blockbuster. Remember Blockbuster? Just barely. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Once upon a time, there existed a place where you could rent your videos on cassette. It was a great place, but they charged you for overage fees. Not very nice of you, Miss. What? Who the hell do I sound like Santa Claus now? <laughs> You've been a bad boy. <laughs> All right, that degraded quickly and from Civil Netflix War. And Netflix murdered them all. <laughs> uh, but what, what has that team, what are they, uh, besides doing the pro? I mean, are you still working with that team still? No, that was like, that was your, I haven't even spoke to them in like 10 years. Send an email, you know, say what's up. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and find their email. Uh, for, the, for the comments real quick, uh, Lynn Van Zyl. Yeah. Member, member berries? Yes. Yes, oh, member Lord. berries. Hell yeah, member exactly berries. Member. I'm, I'm member. I'm member. I'm member. <laughs> and that's perfectly because you were singing Africa. I know, Toto, I was. So I was like, I know. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, Heather Gentry said, be kind, rewind. That's a great oh, movie, Jesus too. I love Christ. that movie. The other I haven't day, heard I, that in a while. The other day, I, I tried to watch that at like... T- maybe like 11 at night and then I realized it's a two hour movie I'm like no it's not gonna happen tonight <laughs> moving on sorry I just saw I love you Jack Black but I'm sorry Ooh. I saw seven, seven with the, the backwards seven ever. on it with yeah, the backwards yeah. V seven what's in the box <laughs> I'd never seen it before nice it was great I haven't seen it. Good talk, guys. <laughs> it's and, a good movie. You should see it. Good, good talk, guys. Good talk. <laughs> see, that's where it was. That's where it was. No, uh, 
after, so what was your first big thing that you did when you said you started when you were 13? So what was your major role that you when did? When you think when it was 13? the guild? Was, was like it your the guild? That was your first one? Like well, the, your, the first your, real, like, big is there, com- is there a Hot Wheels commercial we, like we're going to find <laughs> later on when you're big, like Tom Cruise? We're just going to be like, look at oh There's Vince in that Hot Wheels commercial. No, 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 I mean, oh, he, he Sonny did, D. He did, he did the movie in Utah. And so. Yeah, that but, was the first, like, real role. Right one. Okay. But, yeah. but I think the thing that really, like, kind of, like, just, like, clinched it for you was the guild was that it yeah the guild was huge because the guild got me started in voiceover it got me started in new media it got me started in all these career paths that i've taken since and you know it's interesting you said earlier and i caught what you said regarding new media the guild was absolutely a huge pioneer in that yeah because there really wasn't any strong strong webisode shows that i know we're recall. talking like 2007 2008 i right mean this here, was like, like the advent early. of youtube yeah. when youtube started to hit that like peak of oh this is a video of platform. more than just cat videos yeah yeah and nobody had really, really. gone far <laughs> oh my god i love Tang. that was the golden time <laughs> chocolate rain when when different was the best thing you could have yeah yeah um, I, uh... You thought I forgot about <laughs> you. Hey, Hunter, oh my god. Hey, what's up, dude? You thought I forgot uh, about you. What did he say? For... I know him. We party. Say it. Wow. Boy, he said, Vince Casso's first real role was Vince Casso. Legend extraordinaire. And you ah. sound legendary. Wait, wait, legend. legend. Wait for legend, it. Wait for it. Dairy. Dairy. This is the most douche uh, bro douche <laughs> bro <laughs> thing. Legends <laughs> tell of Vince Casso. Being the last person to walk out of English class. We've got Tony Adams asking voiceover. That's, what that's my one legend. The legend. <laughs> so we've, we've got Tony Adams asking about voiceover work. What kind of voiceover work have you done so far? Ooh. Sick. So far, I've been in it for like, we're talking like a year so far. A lot of I'm, porn. <clears throat> A lot of, lot. I mostly narrate porn. <laughs> you I do like, subs for other countries. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh, good yeah. in Todd, <laughs> yeah? It's good in Todd. Yeah, I do it in their languages. <laughs> Guys, I only sub German <laughs> porn. <laughs> it, it's cheaper that way. Yeah. Hi, Dad. Russian. <laughs> da. Hi, Dad. Da. Hi, hi Dad. Da. <laughs> oh, my God. I might have to look up Are We Trash just for that one. Are oh, we it's trash? trash. <laughs> Are we trash? Are we trash? Oh, my gosh. Uh, so, so far, I've done yeah, a lot of... Yeah, voiceover. I'm yeah, sorry. a lot of indie work. <laughs> And right now, I've 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 done a bunch of reels <laughs> together, working with a company called Ben Zoom, <laughs> to try and uh, work with them as well. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, it's my actually my background in voiceover. This all started because I did. <laughs> oh God, what was it? What is it? <laughs> Morgana, we've had her on the front of the show. We've had her on before. She goes, dude, I came right in at German porn. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 really. Welcome. Of all the people, Morgana would be the one who comes in on that one. This is what we like to call the intellectual uh, nerdbot show. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh my Morgana, God. just, just, you know, I love having you here, but just walk away. Just, just. <laughs> Why well, you still have a chance? Leave now. No, no, come back, baby. I love you. <laughs> Keep going, Vince. Oh boy, I love this, you guys. You guys are great. <laughs> no. My, my background for years in in starting in voiceover, getting into professionally, was actually live radio theater. Cool. And so we did like these sort of like uh, uh, combo mm. stage play radio play yeah. shows from the 1940s. Like, like, that kind like of style. Uh, yeah. George Orwell style. Yeah, that same kind of style. Nice. And so I did those for a few years. I did like the hundreds of shows. And in any one show, I'd play roughly like nine characters or so. Mm-hmm. And I'd have scenes where my characters are all talking to each other like in the same scene. So that taught me a lot about playing the characters, inhabiting those kinds of different personalities. Nice. And it's, it's more voice-oriented, so you have to – I've heard that because of voice acting, um, you're not really selling it visually anymore. You have to kind of sell it vocally. Oh, totally, yeah. So it's, it's a little bit more of a different angle than, than what and you And that's were... the thing that I love about voiceover is right. that as an on-camera actor, I'm not saying that I'll be typecast, but the, 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 the types of roles that I will get are fairly specific mm-hmm. usually because of the way that I look. The stud of that chicks all want. That one guy who's legend, wait for it. Dairy. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Uh, but Vince in voiceover, you can play yeah. anything that you can come up with a voice for. Right. Yeah. So it's it's more of a meritocracy. Right. There's a lot more of like you know the, the, what you put into it matters more. So I just close my eyes and you take me anywhere. Yeah, that, that's. <laughs> <laughs> I might just do that. Be careful. Here we go. I'll, I'll have him take you somewhere right now. How about to Middle Earth? I'm so please. Sorry. You just you ask. Please, really please. So please. Bad. Please. I feel weird talking in Please. a Gandalf voice when we're ending on that note. Please, this is how we're going to end your... Rachel and I are going on an adventure somewhere together. I'm going on an She's adventure! She's going to close her eyes, and we're going to carry her far away. That's way where, too good, where man. We, where, <laughs> where are we going, my lord? Gandalf! Oh, you'll see. Here, drink this. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what is it? Oh, God, I'm stopping this now. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> thank you so much for making a dream come true, Vincent. Oh, 
Oh, poor Bilbo never knew what was coming. Vince and Cat, <laughs> poor Bilbo. Oh, God. We, the, it, it's actually worse that we didn't end it. It left way more to the <laughs> imagination. Right, right oh, my Next God. Next week on that. Who else is not, though, a fan of Vincent now <laughs> after being on? Thank you so I'm much. I'm your biggest fan. <laughs> Dude. This is all the best and the worst reason to have me on any show. No, right I, you, you get major props, not just for obviously coming down here, but for letting us interrupt you almost the entire show <laughs> with, our, with our smattering <laughs> of, of, we have of wittiness we and comments. But it was so fun having you here. Dude, we love it. Thank you He's so much. Uh, thank you for having uh, me. Can guys. you please, once, uh, you know, we're going to wrap the show up, but if you can please throw out your uh, your Insta tags and your GeoCities, uh, all that. Yeah, my, my angel <laughs> fire. Uh, yeah, totally. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Vince Casso. It's just my name with no crap in between. V-I-N-C-E-C-A-S-O. On Facebook, it's Vince Doc Casso. Mm-hmm. Uh, but feel free to add me, and maybe if I can, I'll add you back. I'm at a pretty high number right now. <laughs> add you back. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's me. So, Thank Big Finn, Castle. really quickly. Big Finn has been texting me through the whole show. <laughs> Thoroughly loves you. Oh, yeah. I love you, too, Big Finn. Would if you be you- back? I would be back okay. in a heartbeat. Yes. We're going to have Vince back, you guys. Yes, yeah. if you don't have Vince by now, there's probably something wrong with your computer. You probably either couldn't hear or see it's this your cast, problem. but it's your problem. It's not on our end at all. I am absolving all responsibility, and you can send hate letters to at Rachel Litfin. Y'all suck. <laughs> <laughs> you going to have him to our take that? Oh, not I need, yet. I need, I need you to throw out your, your, all your stuff so people know where to find Litfin. You can find me on all social media platforms under Rachel Litfin. My last name is L-I-T-F-I-N. I was born that way. If you can't remember how to spell that, just look at the fa- hashtag Fin on Fire. I almost said fash hag Fin on Fire. <laughs> the fash hag. <laughs> the fash hag. Hashtag Fin on Fire. Litfin. Rachel Litfin. All of it. Just find me. <laughs> ah. Well, there's one place that we can find you relatively soon. And it's on the Reverse Flash Origins Episode 2. Ooh. The trailer, which I believe was just dropped today, right? Or it's the episode, I'm sorry. The episode, Reverse Flash. Oh, my God, the show I'm in. The Flash, Reverse Flash Origins. Check out Rachel. Uh, we would have got more into it today, but it would have been nine minutes. No, Vince we prefer is just too much. You too go to NerdBot. Just more Vince, bless me. Go to YouTube.com slash NerdBot Media, and you can find our Episode 2 of Reverse Flash Origins, starring, of course, La- Rachel Litfin, Colin Bass. Colin Bass. Friend of the show and we guy who owes me five bucks. We had Colin on the show last week. Uh, it is pretty much his brainchild. Yes. The reverse fan flash Go back and watch that episode if you want to learn all about it. being produced by NerdBot Studios. The second episode released tonight. Yes. Excellent. And then I also, haven't even watched it yet. Yeah, so we're going to watch it, it all. This. Yeah, we're probably yeah. going to all watch it after this. We should Con- film our we're con- I'm congratulately, <laughs> contractually obliged to watch it. So. I, but other than I mean, <laughs> I'm in it. That's not a good enough reason. We all love you, Rachel. That's the applause. That Thanks, Anthony. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in and watching the podcast i am your host anthony ayala hey i want to remind you all nerd nights folks we have one more coming up at the end of the year well not the end of the year november november 9th that's hardly the end of the year it's the chinese new year we'll figure it out at some point okay? <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make it work but november 9th okay you can check us out at the arcadia dave and busters uh, we're going to be there having a good time. My band, The Expansion Packs, will be performing live Woo! there. Of course, you can find all that information at nerdbot.com. You are watching us on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash nerdbotmedia. You can find our podcast page, The Nerdbot Podcast, by following that on facebook.com. And, of course, on our, in, our Instagram, at nerdbotmedia. I want to thank... Uh, Vincent, once again, for being on the show. Thank and you, Rachel guys. Lipson for being on here. And, of course, because everybody's been so good to us lately on the show, I'm going to leave us with a very nice song that Rachel loves. I guess, I guess we all love the song, really. What here we go. Oh my God. What do I love? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I should have brought it in. It's him, Tom! Wait well, you gotta it. wait. Yeah, you got to wait, wait for, for it. it. Hold on. Don't you, don't, don't you cut us off. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. All right, here we go. Yeah, this is when it gets into it. This is This is buried in a very deep recess. I know, I, the, I, I know the guy who owns this place. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs>